Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to today's devotion, which is on uh, God's mercy. The third episode is on merciful and blameless. Well, um, I believe you've been able to listen to the previous episodes. That is episode one and two. And uh, today, let's continue on seeing, um, getting deeper and deeper on the masses of God and what he does with his masses. Um, in Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 26, With the merciful, you show yourself merciful. With a blameless man, you show yourself blameless. What a wonderful God we serve that when we show mercy to others and you know mercy cannot just be cooked you cannot just be merciful you need god so that you can be merciful you need to receive the masses of god you're talking about mercy you're not talking about pity we're talking about the masses of god that is a go a covenant keeping god who promises that he is going to be with us and he's going to help us even in every time when we feel like departing or getting away from the covenant that he has made because our God is a promise keeper. So that is why we need to know that mercy is not just pity. It is making sure that we do the right thing at the right time and uh, showing uh, compassion to others just as the Lord has already shown compassion to us because he has saved us. He has looked at us not with the eye of judgment, but he has looked at us with the, through Christ who has died on the cross because of our sins, rescued us from the, uh, from the arm of uh, judgment so that we are not judged and thrown into the lake of fire or thrown to where those ones who do not believe and trust in the Lord, where they will go. You trust in him and he keeps you and is the only one who can help you to continue walking, uh, being faithful and being merciful and being blameless. Uh, because oh, being blameless, it is it means that uh, you, you don't have any spot on your garment when it comes to believing that believing in our Lord Jesus Christ. There is no way you're going to have your foot in the kingdom of God and the other foot in the other kingdom where you're doing all the other stuff that you know that does not glorify God. It is being dipped wholly, completely in the Lord where you serve him and you allow him to guide you and lead you. You don't allow any other things that you hear and see to get you out of the way, but you stick to where the Lord has uh, directed you to go and do that which glorifies him. You've got to be blameless, spotless. That is, means you don't allow anything of this world to, to continue uh, diverting you from the path that the Lord is leading you and guiding you. And Micah chapter 6 verses 8 from New King James a Version. He has shown you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justly, to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Well, the Lord shows us mercy and he, because he is good and we need to walk in the ways of our God and the ways of our God are good. That is why we sing the song that says, God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, he's so good to me. God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, he's so good to me. Yes, our God is good. And it is only through him, because he is good, that we'll be able to learn to do the good. We're able to learn to show mercy to others, because our God requires us to do, ju to be, to do justly and even to love mercy. That is um, showing others mercy. It's not only you that need mercy. You need to show others mercy. And there's no way you can show others mercy if you don't know what mercy is if you, you yourself has not has not experienced what mercy is if you have not had an encounter 
of this merciful God, you cannot show mercy to others because you will not have your eyes open to see the need of others but you will be able you only be seen that you are the only one that needs you just you you become self-centered such that you only think on how you can acquire and acquire even that which belongs to the needy when you're not merciful you can cause even those ones who are in need to get into deeper problems and even deeper to get great trouble and you are trying to build your own empire trying to build things that will not even help you trying even to get things that you don't even need and you are not even allowing the needy to receive that which is theirs to take care of their needs you need we need to walk you need to be good i mean you need to 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 look at how god operates and the way god operates he's a good god he always want to do the good thing to us release the goods to, the goodies to us and the kinds of goodies we're talking about is mercy compassion being just making sure that you get what you deserve you walk in the ways you should walk you receive that what your need your needs are taken care of he is not a god that just wants to get and get from us but he wants to release and give to us so that is what we are supposed to be as um, as his children and that is why if you're not born again you need to have an encounter with the lord so that you not be looking at others trying to find out what you're gonna get from them but in looking at others as to what are you gonna give to them release to them we look at people with the eyes of mercy and when you look at them with the eyes of mercy you will not be ready to get and get from them some are building kingdoms which they will never live in which they will not even need because they are ready just to get and acquire a lot from others may the lord help each one of us to be good just as our god is good and show love and love mercy and even as we are loving mercy and showing others mercy we will be able to walk humbly with our god because it is only until you step you get to us to a low step and see others get to their level and try to lift them to where you are don't try to push others and push them lower and lower so that you can keep on climbing and climbing and going higher and higher you need to stop low a little bit and lift others and raise them to become to a level where they have never even imagined they could be and now in ephesians chapter 2 verses 4 but god being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us um he has um let, let me look at this i, I don't want to I, I don't want to put my own words uh let me read that verse again but uh that is i'm going to read um uh verse four all the way to i'll stop where i know that it is the right place to stop but god who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us even when we were dead in trespasses made us alive together with christ by grace you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in christ jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us in christ jesus for by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of god not of works least in one should boast for we are his workmanship created in christ jesus for good works which god prepared beforehand that we should walk in them praise the lord this is the god that we serve that you know what that in his um, rich he is rich in mercy so this god who is rich in mercy uh he has uh, with, he has shown us great love uh he has loved us with his great love imagine because when we were dead in trespasses because if you are not born again you are counted dead spiritually you are dead but our god he did not look at these dead people he looked at us with the eyes of mercy and raised 
us and not just raising us uh, he made us alive together with christ that raising us from dead and raising us to a position to a heavenly position to sit with christ and because it's by grace you are saved and um he, he when he made us sit in the heaven places with christ that he he considered this that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding he might that is if you yourself are going to be willing to walk in his mercy to walk in his goodness to live justly he is going he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. That means you need to be born again so that you will be able to receive these exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us in Christ. He, do, he doesn't show us kindness through any other way, not other means. The only means to be able to show us kindness, it is through Christ Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Because by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourself it is the gift of god not of the works you have uh -huh. least anyone should boast it is because of the grace of our lord we have faith through jesus christ then by grace he saves us and makes us sit in the heavenly place with our lord jesus wiping our sins away and making us sit in that wonderful glorious seat with our lord jesus and uh, I want to thank God for each one of you as you continue to consider walking blameless before him, not having a spot, because in Christ Jesus, you'll be able to lead us to walk in his ways. He will show you his goodness and he require you to walk, do justly and even to love mercy so that you can walk humbly before him. May the Lord bless you as you choose to walk in mercy to be merciful as he is heavenly father in the name of your son jesus christ we want to thank you and honor you for giving us yet another time where we can be merciful and walk blameless before you we cannot do it by ourselves but through christ jesus our lord and savior who has given himself to die for our sins who were uh, to die for people who are dead in their trespasses that lord you are able to lift us up from that dead situation and made us sit in the heavenly place in our lord with our lord jesus christ we are grateful today and ask you heavenly father to save even others who do not know you as lord and savior so that they can walk in your ways and they can enjoy the goodness of our lord and walk humbly before you we thank you and we give you praise and give you honor in jesus name amen this is bishop dr grace kariuki of amazing grace international ministries and abundant glory international ministries please log into our website at www.agracem.org and also follow us on youtube and facebook at bishop dr grace kariuki and uh, subscribe share and comment let's hear what god is doing as you continue to purpose to show mercy to others and walk blameless before the lord we'll continue with this wonderful topic of god's mercy in the next episode please join us it is normally at 6 30 a.m eastern u.s eastern time zone and in east africa it is at 1 30 p.m may the lord bless you as you purpose to walk in his ways and to honor him and serve him and enjoy god's mercy the entire of the day until we meet again tomorrow be blessed for now shalom shalom